We all know that Sonic the Hedgehog is a beloved franchise, but so many of its fans haven't ever played the first game for some reason. Well today, I'll show you what started as an attempt to create Sega's new mascot, but ended up creating an icon. Sonic the Hedgehog is a platformer game that released on June 23, 1991. At the time, it redefined what platforming games could be, focusing on physics-based movement and trying to hone in on its main selling point, speed. How does this game stack up after 30 years? Let's find out. Green Hill Zone is a prime example for showing off how fast and free this game can feel. The level is well designed and the colors are beautifully vibrant. With an amazing level theme to boot, Green Hill Zone is great. Marble Zone is right after Green Hill, at first giving you the illusion that it'll be as fast and free, but when you continue running you realize it's more linear and more about platforming than speed. While not a problem in and of itself, it feels so restrictive after just playing through Green Hill Zone that it's kind of weird. Still a decent level though, and the music is great. Spring Yard Zone is a mostly chill level to me. It has some random enemies that are kind of annoying, but if you know the level you can usually avoid them. The level looks super good and interesting. And the theme is a bop, for real. <laughs> super good. Labyrinth Zone is garbage. The music is okay. Next stage. Starlight Zone is pretty cool. The level looks simple, but in a good way. It's a nice in-between of like the green hill, speed, and regular platforming. The vibe is relaxing, and I enjoy it quite a lot. An underrated level in my opinion. And the theme. Mwah! Wonderful. Scrap Brain Zone is pretty hard compared to the other levels. Challenging, yet not something to throw your controller onto the wall in a fit of rage over. The level looks the most mechanical out of all of them, showing that this is no joke in the story. And for some reason, Act 3 is a reskinned Labyrinth Zone, but you know, whatever. The music gives off that vibe of intensity, so that's pretty fitting I'd say. Good zone besides the labyrinth of reskin. Final zone is obviously the last zone. <laughs> but it's not really a level and is more of just a straight up boss battle. You have zero rings to start, so if you die you have to start over again. It's actually not too bad when you're careful, and it's a pretty well designed boss battle. Although not insanely difficult, it's unforgiving when you make mistakes. It'll crush you, kill you for not timing a jump correctly, and it may take longer for you depending on how lucky you are, since he pops out of random areas. Overall, good final boss. Speaking of bosses, Green Hill's boss is easy, Marble Zone's boss is easy, Spring Yard's boss is easy, Labyrinth's boss is a bit harder than the previous ones, Starlight Zone's boss is easy, Scrap Brain's boss is decently challenging but not too difficult. Good god, they really suck in this game. It's very annoying to try and get the emeralds, and for what, just to see Sonic running around with animals? That's cool and all, but there's only 6 emeralds. This was before Super Sonic was a thing. So you don't really get much out of collecting them anyway. So overall, Sonic the Hedgehog is a game that rewards you for replaying the game and memorizing the levels to then get the speed you want. Good luck with that in Labyrinth Zone though. It's also pretty rough around the edges. I mean, do you remember that stupid spike glitch? Terrible. But yeah, I love this game, and although it's not one of my favorites, I'm grateful it exists, otherwise there would be no Sonic. My final rating of this game is a 6 out of 10. 
It's decent.